Good morning everyone, I am Cheshta and let's start with the morning tales for May 30, 2019. So there was some confusion among the students regarding the 2019 ISSF World Cup because there are so many events being held uh, for this 2019 itself. Now the events have been divided. So there's, this is a chart which would help you in understanding why and how the events have been divided. First of all, these events would be series of events for the qualification tournament for the 2020 Olympics. So after winning the gold medals or medals on these events, the players would be qualified or they would get the quota for the 2020 Olympics. Now what has happened is the event has been divided into rifle, pistol and shotgun events where rifle and pistol have been taken or they are being conducted in the same country. For example, rifle has been conducted for three times this year and similarly the pistol event as well. So first one was conducted in February 2019, then it was held in April and the May event as well which will go on till May 31st. Now rifle and pistol they have been conducted in three countries as of now. The uh, In February, so New Delhi was the host city for the February World Cup both for rifle and pistol. China was the venue country for rifle and pistol which was held in April and now this rifle and pistol event is going on in Germany. This I am talking about both the men and women category along with the mixed category. So men and women is common and the uh, months are common between rifle and pistol also the venue countries are common. For the shotgun event, the 2019 ISSF World Cup first was held in March and that too in Mexico. Another was held in April in UAE and in the beginning of May in South Korea. So this is how they have divided and through this the people, these players would get the quota for Olympics 2020. So I was asking about the venue of this event. So this might have answered the or this might have cleared the confusion in your mind regarding the 2019 ISSF World Cup. Now let's begin with the morning tale. So who has been recently appointed as the Chief Minister of Sikkim after the Lok Sabha elections 2019. So recently the Chief Minister of Sikkim has been appointed and his name is Prem Singh Taman. He is uh, more famously known as P.S. Gole. So who has been replaced as the Chief Minister of Sikkim? Pawan Chamling has been replaced as the Chief Minister of Sikkim and there is a very uh, great fact regarding Pawan Chamling that he was the longest uh, serving Chief Minister of India who has won five consecutive terms. So longest serving Chief Minister who has served or he has given over 24 years as the Chief Minister of Sikkim and now he has been replaced by Prem Singh Taman. Important to remember this name, new appointments could be asked in the exam. Moving on to the next question. So the next question is regarding the Litti Association. So the government of India under the provisions of the UAPA Act 1967 declared Litti as an unlawful association. What does U A U in UAPA stand for? Now first of all, what does this Litti stand for? So it is Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam. And it was banned in the year 1991 since the assassination of the former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. Now recently a law has been passed and it was uh, by the Ministry of Home Affairs that they have uh, issued a notification where they have extended the ban on the Litti. Now coming to this UAPA, what does UAPA stand for? First of all, it stands for Unlawful Activities Prevention Act 1967. So what does uh, UN UAPA stand for? It is unlawful. So according to the notification by the government of India and under the provisions of the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act UAPA 1967, Litti has been declared as the unlawful association. Now what is the purpose of this Litti again in news? First I have already told you that there was this notification by the Ministry of Home Affairs that they have extended the ban. Now recently they have the government of India has constituted a tribunal. So they have come up with a tribunal for educating ban on the Litti Association. So these are the two reasons why Litti is again in news. Let's move on to the next question. So which of the following has launched the tree ambulance to provide timely aid to fallen trees? Now you might find in some news article that it's the first of its kind initiative 
but i have found some articles as well if you could search that delhi has already the ndmc of delhi has already started this tree ambulance uh, in 2017 so i believe that this is not the first of its kind initiative but it's a first of its kind initiative in chennai so as per this tree ambulance the ambulance will basically move on the roads uh, taking the tree experts along with it to the various parts of the city so that they could revive and hopefully replant the hundreds of uprooted trees now this initiative has been taken in the backdrop of the cyclone which has been faced by tamil nadu so many trees were uprooted during the cyclone so china so chennai now has decided to come up with this tree ambulance now one static question which can come from this uh, question is that this tree ambulance initiative is the initiative of whom or who has initiated this tree ambulance so the person who is known as the green man of india he has inaugurated or he has uh, come up with this idea of tree ambulance now you need to mention in the comment section below that who is the green man of india so this person is himself responsible for uh, planting so many trees around the country that he has been named as the green man of india now you need to answer in the comment section below that who has been named as the green um, uh, green man of india next question is who is the india's most trusted sports personality according to tra research so this tra research includes 39 personalities and they have been categorized as the most trusted personalities across different categories so for example the actor male the south indian actor actresses actresses sports personality business person spiritual these are the different categories and in the trusted sports personality virat kohli has been trusted as the most uh, trusted sports personality according to this tra research now as i just told you that there are different categories so so for the actor uh, the most trusted personality is amitabh bachchan he has been take, given the name of the most trusted actor for south india the name is well known rajnikanth the actress dipika padukone is at the first position for the sports category i've already told virat kohli for the spiritual category mother teresa has been uh, trusted as the most trusted personality as a social activist anna hazare has been given the first position for the youtuber even the youtuber has given been given the name so he is sandeep maheshwari for the business person ratan tata has been trusted for the international actor john cena has been trusted as the or has been given as the name of the most trusted personality so these are the different names it's not that difficult to remember the names of these people moving on to the next question so where is the first united nations habitat assembly held first of all two reasons why this is in news that this is for the first time that the united nations habitat assembly is being held this is the first reason and recently india has been appointed as the or appointed to the uh, executive board of this first uh, united nations habitat assembly so these are the two reasons why this uh, habitat assembly is in news now where is this first united nations habitat assembly held so the meeting is going on in kenya now the question arises regarding the theme what is the theme for this assembly meeting so the theme is innovation for better quality of life in cities and communities so this is the theme for the uh, united nations habitat assembly the first meeting which is going on in kenya the theme is innovation for better quality of life in cities and communities and india has been elected to the board of this meeting moving on to the next question so recently there was this news regarding the uh, facebook that they are planning to launch their cryptocurrency company and what is the name of that cryptocurrency so it so it is proposed and believed as per the media report that global global coin is the name of the cryptocurrency which has been launched by or which will be launched by facebook by the end of this year also there are some facts regarding this global coin currency that the cryptocurrency that this digital payment system would be used by the consumer even if they do not have a bank account now what you need to remember till the time till the time facebook officially announced this uh, cryptocurrency that global coin is the name of the cryptocurrency of facebook so now it's time for you to comment in the uh, comment section 
these are the three uh, proposed wildlife sanctuaries and there is already one wildlife sanctuary the uh, proposal is that they are going to convert or they are going to add these three along with the extension of the fourth wildlife sanctuary the name of the fourth one is guddekote sloth bear sloth bear wildlife sanctuary so this uh, wildlife sanctuary is already there in the state and you need to tell me in the comment section that which state has proposed to include these new uh, wildlife sanctuaries where this Guddekote sloth bear wildlife sanctuary is already located. So you need to mention that in the comment section. This is all for the morning tales video. Do subscribe to the channel and uh, we don't want that you miss on any of the videos. So press the bell icon as well so that you do not miss on the notifications. We'll be coming up with the next video soon. Thank you so much for watching the video.